focus. Okay, it's 10.39. Ooh. There's the Schnauzer. Let's just get right into it. Hmm. Last time we went over private property. Now we're doing Exodus ver chapter 22, verse 16 through 31. <clears throat> Social responsibility. Ooh. If a man seduces a virgin who is not pledged to be married and sleeps with her, he must pay the bride price and he, and, no, and she shall be his wife. Now wait, you do realize when someone rapes somebody, they don't want to marry them. They want to rape them and then move on. They don't, it's a one time thing. These people do not see women as people. They just see them as one-time sex factories so they can have sex once and move on. Being married means they're stuck to this person forever and can't have sex fully with anyone else. Meaning, if they t continue doing under the same laws of this system, they will be stoned to death. So either way, they will be stopped. And you must pay the the price anyway, so he's still gonna be hurt in more than one ways. And I know no matter how much I say this or can explain it or say it out loud, there's still gonna be people this is sexist! I'm not gonna listen to you, this is sexist because it is no matter what uh. Fine. If you don't want to listen, don't. If her father absolutely refuses to give her to him, which will probably happen most of the time, if her father absolutely refuses to give her to him, which again, most likely will happen, let me say that again. If her father absolutely refuses to give her to him, if her father absolutely refuses to give her to him, if her father absolutely refuses to give her to him, if her father absolutely refuses to give her to him, which would happen most likely, he must still pay the bride price for virgins, so he still must pay the price. Oh, there shouldn't be a price. So, what, he gets away with it? I don't know. And let me just read this. Verse 17. If her father absolutely refuses to give her to him, which is going to happen, <coughs> he must still pay the bride price for virgins. There. I think I've read that enough times. Actually, I'm not kidding. All the offended people are gone already. So you who are not offended, how, how are you doing? It's like when requested 93 we I think with him, said, the made a little loud noise, like, I killed half my eyes, so the other half my eyes. I, Sorry, I'm getting off track. Um, do not allow a sorceress to live. So, anyone who does magic kill. Not the magic you see like a magician, so, quote unquote magician do. Like, this is your card. Like, so many demons and talking to them and trying to turn with the metals and... The, Make people fall and go to sleep. All right, go. So. so yeah, that 
that kind of magic, not what we think of magic. You know, kind of what we think. Think of Harry Potter type magic. Dark magic. Anyway. Anyone who has sexual relationships with an animal is to be put to death. Well. No more furries. Anyway. Whoever sacrifices to any god other than me. No. That's not what that said. It, whoever sacrifices to any god other than the Lord must be destroyed. Whoo! Not just put to death. No, destroyed. The Hebrew term refers to the irreversible giving over of things or person to the Lord by often by totally destroying them. You remember the last video that that what I accidentally read before. So there's another thing. No other gods. No sacrificing to other gods. And yes, Israel worshipped other gods. There's archaeological evidence. The Bible calls them out on this. It's not a contradiction. The only thing contradiction is in your brain. Because you made one up. The Bible's not it's with the ge geographic with the historical record. The Bible calls out Israel for repeatedly breaking the one God thing. So there is no contradiction. Sorry, atheist. Or at least the ones dumb enough to think there is. Do not mistreat or uh oh. Do not mistreat or oppress a foreigner, for you were foreigners in Egypt. So. Treat foreigners with respect. That, that's a good. That's a good law. Do not take advantage of the widow or fatherless. If you do, and they cry out to me, I will certainly hear their cry. My anger will be aroused, and I will kill you with the sword. Your wives will become widows, and your children fatherless. Oh, what? That's on me. Yeah, he. But this guy. Like, ripped people off who. Had nothing. If you were a widow back then, you had nothing. If you were a kid who was fatherless, male or female, boy, girl, it didn't matter really. You had nothing. A girl probably would. Worse because you might be sold into a certain profession. Well, actually, no, still slavery. Someone to take the uh, apprenticeship. So, yeah. Um, but, Widow, you, you definitely didn't have anything. So, also, you take advantage of them. So, ironically, your wife becomes a widow and your children fatherless, just like the people you take advantage of. If you lend money to one of my people among you who is needy, do not treat it like a business deal, charge no interest. So no interest, don't be like, oh, but, yeah, you owed me this much, plus the interest, because it took you this long. No, they're poor. 
If it takes them a little longer to pay it back, to, so what? They're poor. They don't. That's not going to happen. And then, if you're really feeling generous, just forgive them all together. I guess. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, return it in it by sunset because that cloak is the only covering your neighbor has. What else can they sleep in? When they cry out to me, I will hear, for I am compassionate. So, yeah. If cloak, return the cloak, so they have something to sleep in. And that, yes, forgiving debts is a big Christian thing. Do not blaspheme God or curse the ruler of your people. Or do not revile the judge. Do not hold back offerings from your granaries, granaries or your vats. The meaning of the Hebrew for this phrase is uncertain. Hmm. So, no one knows how to correctly translate that from Hebrew from into English. Interesting. You must give me the firstborn of your sons. Do the same with your cattle and your sheep let them stay with their mothers for seven days but give them to me on the eighth day this is not promote human sacrifice if you think that's what that means you're hearing it wrong you are to be my holy people so do not eat the meat of an animal torn by wild beast throw it to the dogs Ah, yes, the one part of kosher that, I guess, technically kosher, not really kosher. That really doesn't apply to day? I mean, first thing, if you think about it, if a lion, well, maybe back then people would be more inclined to, if a lion killed something, to go and, well rummage to see what it left but today I doubt anyone would do that for sanitary reasons <laughs> yeah so yeah what things are coming up next I guess you get, of course, that's always the question, what things are coming up next. <sighs> yes, the father will probably never, ever have allowed somebody who raped their daughter to marry her. So they still would have to pray money because they need some sort of punishment. Why not death? Uh. Uh. But yeah, for a good death. No sexual relationships with animals. None. None. No. No other gods. Again, expressed. Again, no, not a contradiction. No. It's not. It's not a contradiction. Yes, Israel, there's archaeological evidence that Israel had multiple gods. Just read the prophets and you will realize Israel gets called out for worshipping multiple gods. Uh, so yes, um... That's just how things go. It's 
1054. That is all.